Hi everybody. Today I thought it would be fun if I take you to chemo with me and show you what I kind of go through. So we're going to walk in right now. I'll see what I can actually record. The waiting room is all festive. Ready for the holidays. Very comfortable here and the receptionists are exceptional. So I'll show you the little kitchenette that we get to come and get snacks in. They've got a great um, machine that does tea, coffee, water, hot water. Um, then we got the water machine with ice. All the little snackies that you could want while you're sitting there getting your chemo done. And then the fridge full of all the drinks. You could just come here and help yourself. It is extremely cool. The room is really big. I won't show you any patients, but it's very big. It has um, seating for like eight and eight and eight. Oh, there's TVs. The nurse's station is here. All right, so we're gonna be accessing my port today. So we're just getting it cleaned up right now. I don't put any um, numbing medicine or anything. I just let them access it. It seems to go pretty easy that way. Yep. Easy as that. And then she'll take some um, blood for labs, make sure everything's good so I can get my chemo today. And then once that's okay, well, then we get underway. So now I'm just waiting. I was going to show you the chairs that we get. Um, nobody's in this one over here. So the recliners, they got tables on them. They got heat and vibration in there. They make us super comfortable. All right, so first I'm getting some Pepsid, and then I will be getting some Benadryl and steroid um, to help with a reaction that I had to the chemo. So I get this before I get my chemo every single time. Okay, so it's starting to get busy around here. I've got neighbors sitting next to me now. That's kind of always fun to be able to talk with people. Um, everybody's usually pretty open and willing to share. Uh, so I'm, I'm hooked up now and um, just getting the pre-meds. And while I sit here, I watch Netflix or I work on a video that I'm usually editing. Um, but... Here's my little setup. Got a nice little blanket that they gave me. I got my turtle blanket that my mom gave me. The turtles eat the cancer. Where's the turtle? Uh oh. Here's a turtle. So oh, I'll give you another update when I get hooked up to the chemo. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to leave that in here. Now I'm hooked up onto my uh, chemo IV. Just uh, that tiny little bag up there. It goes in over 45 minutes. And I just sit here and keep watching my Netflix and talk to, talk to other patients. Okay, I'm all done getting the infusion. So now it's time to de-access. And she's going to take it off. She flushes with two, um, I don't know, do you call those vials? Or syringes. syringes. Two syringes of saline and then the last syringe is heparin and that helps so that I don't get any blood clots in my port. And then we're finished here today. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. No burning? Nope.
I'm watching on the screen today, so normally I can't see because I don't look down. Oh, yeah, you'll be able to see everything. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I dripped on you a little bit. That's okay. When they do that flush, you can taste it in your mouth. It's kind of a weird, I wouldn't say it's a metallic, it's, it's, me, uh, I don't know what, a plastic? Kind of, um, chemical. It, it's a definite chemical taste. Some people use mints or will chew gum. Okay. When they flush. Yeah. <laughs> And the to DX is, it's so simple. Mm -hmm. Count of three. One, two, three. It doesn't even hurt at all when they do that. And then they just put a little bandage on it. Usually it doesn't bleed, but the one time you I, don't I usually do on. get a little spot. Oh, do you? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, we're all finished for today. So that was um, for so. The cycle is 28 days, um, so the first and second and third week of that cycle, I get my IV chemo. So this one was technically considered cycle six and day one of my second week. So now I'm off to home. Um, everything is still very good with the blood work and I haven't done a bone marrow biopsy since the last one a couple months ago and everything was wonderful with that. So I'm still doing the steroids where i am got more energy than I know what to do with. Um, even though they did decrease that by half. And dealing with the chemo side effects, um, I don't necessarily feel sick but I feel extremely weak. By the end of the week I'll be very tired and extremely weak. Um, that's why I've now been taking a day off at the end of the week so that I can recuperate. So um, thanks for joining me today on my chemo day. I hope it was informative for everybody and you enjoyed coming and watching. Bye. Love you. All right. One more thing. Since it's Thanksgiving week, I thought it would be nice if I said what I was grateful for. So first of all, family, I am extremely grateful for my family. They've been helping me out a lot during this whole time. Secondly, I'm grateful for, for Dr. Saber for catching my cancer or catching some something that was different and pushing for more tests. Um, third, I am grateful that there is a treatment for my cancer and th that people end up going into remission for great lengths of time. Today I just met another cancer or multiple myeloma patient. She was in remission for 13 years on no um, on no meds, uh, maintenance meds, no maintenance meds for those 13 years. But now her new regimen, um, it did come back obviously, she's not in remission anymore, but her new maintenance, she, her new regimen will have maintenance drugs um, forever after that. And that's what my um, treatment plan is also. Um, I'm grateful that I didn't lose my hair. Um, not that I'm super vain or anything like that, but it's nice to have your hair, so I'm grateful that that happens. And it actually feels like it's getting thicker. I have darker eyebrows than I had, um, a half a year ago, so something is different. Um, I'm not losing it. It's not, um, getting thin. It actually got thicker. Um... I'm sure I could go on and on for things that I'm grateful for, but let's leave it at that, and maybe you guys can tell me what you're grateful for. Bye. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving.